Hey guys, welcome back inside the State Champ Sports Network studios for this week's edition of Fast Break here on Hang Time Michigan. And of course, Fast Break is sponsored by the Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan. Joining me today, we welcome Dennis Hopkins. He's the athletic director, boys basketball coach at Oakland Christian, also the assistant executive director at B Camp, the B Camp Clinic co chairman. So he's got a lot of uh, insight from both inside BCAM and of course on the street you know being the athletic director and the basketball coach and you've done it uh, for a long time we talked about on the winter roundup which you can watch uh, what BCAM is doing to help develop young coaches it's a real um, issue with making sure that we bring these guys along the other is the number one most concerning issue high school athletic directors are facing today is what and I'm sure this is nuanced but I'm sure there's different things depending on who you talk to, but one of the biggest issues I'm dealing with as an athletic director is uh, finding qualified coaches. Um, there are less people going into coaching, and I think there's many factors that are tying into that, but it is a difficulty trying to find coaches, especially when you're trying to fill all of your teams that you have. Uh, the coaching pool is not as large as it used to be. We are about a decade removed now from the seasons of change, the switch. When girls basketball became a winter sport, volleyball fell back to the fall, and we had a number of coaches who were able to do both when girls basketball was in the fall and boys were in the in the winter. Um, and I guess I'm curious to what you would say is the, the effects, you know, now that we're a decade beyond that, are you noticing, you know, uh, that being a real issue because those guys cannot do both? You did both, uh, but that's extremely hard to do. Yes, last year I uh, had the opportunity to coach uh, both the girls and the boys at Oakland Christian, uh, and it was a difficult task. Um, the difficult task being that you're preparing, if you're, if, if you're doing it correctly, you're going to prepare for practice, you're going to prepare for opponent. Before the seasons changed, you would see that where uh, guys and gals would uh, do both and the quality of coaching uh, was pretty good there when you with those coaches that were doing it. What do you think is the reason behind the fact that not as many individuals are getting into coaching as they've done in the past? You have the concerns of dealing with parents that have high expectations and then just the stressors of all that you know the pressure to win and lose unfortunately is a big stressor at the high school level yeah you're you're trying to win but at the end of the day as an athletic director i want coaches that have a knowledge of the game they're willing to invest in the lives of my student athletes in the right way uh, and are willing to grow their knowledge of the game at the same time and i think if we can give them a great environment for that um, then they can learn to develop. Well, finally, if you can, because we're all about solutions here, uh, what are some things that BCAM can do to help alleviate this issue? Well, I think uh, some of the things we've been, that we are trying to put in play, uh, we've got that guide to the first year coach. It's really for young coaches, but new coaches. Getting ADs to kind of get that in front of their coaches so they have some different things that they make sure that they're aware of before they really get too deep. Uh, athletic directors providing their uh, coaches the ability to get to clinics like the one that BCAM offers, but also uh, we're looking at a pilot program in May to try and help younger coaches. Uh, getting tools in front of them that help them develop their game, but not just the X and O's part of it. The uh, administrator side you know the MHSA does offer some cap programs that quality programs been through those myself they help with those non X and O's things and how to communicate and make sure you're doing it in the right way so that people aren't confused and the less people are confused the more you're all on the same page absolutely and it's about supporting the coaches from the parents to the administration, to the community. Uh, that's how we keep guys in it, keep them engaged, and keep keep them helping to mentor our kids. All right, so we want to thank Dennis Hopkins for being here. Check out the conversation on the Winter Roundup, and this has been another edition of Fast Break.